Hello, uh, Switzerland. In Switzerland, there are four languages spoken. Um, one language is a kind of indigenous gypsy language, which isn't really officially recognised, which leaves three other languages that are officially recognised and used. One is French, one is Italian, and one is a, a Swiss-German spoken language. Um, however, all Swiss military manuals are printed in the proper German language, not Swiss German, which was handy because during the Second World War, as the history books like to tell us, Switzerland was neutral. However, between 1940 and 1944, the Swiss had a 600 million Swiss franc deal to supply the Nazis with anti-aircraft guns, various ammunition, high quality optical equipment and other military weaponry. And because the Swiss printed their manuals already in the German language, all the Swiss did when they sold the Nazi Germany the gear was to give them the manuals which were already printed in German. So what we have here are a section of really now quite rare Swiss manuals that you don't often see anymore. So there's this one, which was printed in 1943, which is basically optical instruments like binoculars, uh, compasses, things like that. They all take this similar format Swiss Army Technical Regiment the number of the book so there must have been you know a few hundred of these books printed on different subjects but you don't really see them anymore 1943 and then there's this one which is 1944 on the mine detector model 1943 then there's this one on the infantry backpack the swiss infantry backpack which is kind of a a pony hide covered backpack a bit like what the germans used in the second world war and this one's dated 1945 so we'll take a look through this one first They're a handy item for reference, as you can see, it's printed in proper German, not what they call Swiss German. So we have declination of maps. Then we go on to the actual items. As you see, it's various compasses, equipment that the Germans would have bought. goes through the various models of compass then we have various Ranging things. Binoculars. And you may have seen one of those on one of my YouTube videos. The range finders. How to use them. How they break down at the boxes. Various other types of range finders.
And a bad little bug. You guys were in the model 1918 Swiss Army helmet, which was still in use in 1954 by the Swiss Border Guard. It's still, to this day, this style of helmet is still relegated to a piece of army surplus rather than a collector's item because there's so many of them about. You know the type, I mean, you've seen it on eBay probably tons of times. It looks like a German helmet, but isn't. We're getting to the end of the interesting stuff in this one. Then we have the mine detector, model 1943. Kind of all the equipment that make it up. And again, it's a Swiss Army soldier showing you the ins and outs. Um, he's wearing the Swiss Army tunic, which has become a saviour for battle reenactors because these are quite openly available on the likes of eBay. And battle reenactments, people buy them because they look like the 1943 pattern German army tunics. And they're a very similar colour anyway. How to service it. How it functions. The best pattern, the best sweep method to use. The most interesting one is this one, the backpack for the infantry, 1945. We have a tornister backpack, that's the word I was looking for before. How it's set up, all the bits and pieces, and then it's handy because it goes into weights and what can be carried in them, breaks down all individual components, all these items for one man, a pair of socks, etc. etc. Where they go in the backpack. Carry the LMG, LMG equipment, tripod for the LMG, and how to carry the really big MG08 Maxim machine gun. Fancy having nothing on your back. Or it's the Swiss copy of it, one or the other. Carrying ammo boxes. So interesting set of manuals and well worth looking out for because yep they were adopted by the German military in the Second World War. trailer and a trailer full of backpacks so they even had a special trailer for carrying backpacks in the trailer a 
That's your Swiss Army personal kit, not German. So not only have you used to people who collect Swiss Army items, I mean there's not much in the way of World War II Swiss Army stuff comes available for sale, but interesting nonetheless. As I say, the Swiss did have a 600 million Swiss franc deal to supply the Nazis with items, and these are a typical set of manuals that they would have sent them with the equipment. Swiss Army manuals for the Nazi Third Reich.